Is it worth it to hoard nickels? Well, yes, it is. It is very worth it if you want to have a little investment. Um, currently, all of the nickels contain 75% copper, 25% nickel, and those are both lower end precious metals. So, um, it's a good idea to get into the hobby of collecting or hoarding change, um, as I do it. But, nickels are worth approximately six to seven cents. So, in the United States, it is currently illegal to melt them down. If you melt them down, they can be worth, like I said, six to seven cents. And, um, well, since it's illegal, you can't do it, obviously. And, um, trying to think of words. Words are just out of the mind right now, I'm sorry. But, um, nickels. Help me, please. Uh, nickels are, uh, <laughs> you know what? Nickels are nickels. They can be nickels and wahoo. Rain. Make it rain. Nickels. Guess what? I'm an idiot. That was fun. Make it rain nickels. So currently, uh, nickels, uh, I'd say people want to get rid of their lower denomination change because, uh, they don't like it. It's a burden for them to carry. But, uh, for me, nickels are just a, uh, that's a nice one. But nickels for me are just a, uh, investment. So, um, yeah, save your nickels. That's a nice coin right there. Uh, yeah. So. All these nickels are after 1960. I believe. Unless I miscounted one or so. But, um. Nickels are really great. As fun to look at you know they're shiny sometimes but um yeah i don't got much else to say about that so oh yeah i'm very amateur at recording so you'll get that uh these nickels between 1942 and 1945 are made out of 35 percent silver um and then they had they needed uh, um 56% copper and then uh something 8% something I'm not really remembering what it was but um this is a 1943 nickel you can barely see it I need to get it to focus I'm bad at recording I'm sorry but if you flip it over you see something on top of the building there. If it'll focus. I'll give it some time here. Okay, you see a fit P. So the P, there's P, D, and then S. The P stands for Philadelphia, D for Denver, and S for San Francisco. Those are three mints that minted nickels and pennies uh, through various years. So, um... I wanted to say it was, um, these can be worth up to a dollar since silver is a precious metal. And, um, well, last time I checked, silver was worth approximately $24 per ounce. That's troy ounce. Uh, and gold was worth about, uh, 18 to $1,900 per ounce. Per troy ounce, um, but... Many people think that platinum is a more expensive precious metal, when really, it's not. Uh, silver and platinum, I believe, have great potential to become very much uh, strong in the precious metal market. Now, everyone's talking about Bitcoin these days and saying that Bitcoin is outperforming gold. 
and yes, that's true, but um, I believe maybe at one point Bitcoin might go down, as well as gold, but Bitcoin's already been down, so hopefully Bitcoin will go down even more. I don't care for Bitcoin. Um, I don't believe in Bitcoin. It's just not in my religion. I mean, as a coin collector, I'd say there's a lot of people that prefer Bitcoin, but um, I'd prefer regular coin. Because I'm a regular person. I'm not a robot. Just just keep that in mind. I'm not no robot. I don't like no Bitcoin. I'm not a future person. I am not a person of the future. I am a regular person. You know? I mean, look at this nizzle. What do you see? What I see is a bunch of dirt and silver. Okay. I'm weird, okay? So, yeah. Let this nickel sink in. What does it mean to you? What should it mean to you? Let this nickel focus on your soul. And let it speak to you. Okay, well, that's really all I have for you. So, um, have a nice day, everyone. Peace out.